Hi, I would like to show you how to, starting from protein name, get a multiple sequence alignment of related proteins, including that one, using both R and the NCBI web interface. And there's one long waiting step in this, so first I'll go through it fast and then I'll track back, uh, especially because the to get the related proteins will take long. Right, so I'll just start it working. I will be using this protein for ZW9 um, in both cases. So first I'm going to use an R script. So there's the name already. I run it, put it in script. I will, I'll go through this later, all right? But first I get uh, the ideas. So I look for the ID of the protein. I get the sequence of the protein and that I'm going to look for related sequences using BLAST-P. This may take some minutes, so I'm now going to do the same thing in the NCBI website. So I'll be uh, copy-pasting this sequence again. Um, we were here. So to get to the NCBI website, uh, you can Google it or you can type in the, not the URL, that's all fine. I'm going to type in the protein name here. I'm going to use the aggregate search so it will look through all the databases um, of which I'll be using the protein database anyways, but I like this that this new feature. So I'm in the protein of that name and you'll see I get two hits here. Well, I'll take, take up the first hit. So here I get the sequence of that protein. Here she is. And what I'll be doing now here as well, I'm going to look for related sequences by running BLAST but this, in this case is BLAST-P because it's for proteins. Using all the defaults, except that I use the protein data bank, um, I'm going to run BLAST-P and BLAST. So what I've done up until now, from my protein, I looked up the ID of it, um, so I could get the sequence, and now I'm looking for related sequences. And actually already in the web interface it's done, in R it's done, so that's great. So first I'll be, um, I'll, I'll, th I'll show the results and then I'll... Um, so now we have our sequences, um, so now we have found our related ideas, we're going to extract the ideas, we're going to look for the sequences of those ideas, um, save them, load them, to all to different formats, now we're going to do a multiple sequence alignment in R. And now then, oh, I've already done that. Convert, save, and now we can find them in the main folder. So this is the sequence I got from R. In the web interface, um, to get a multiple sequence alignment, don't click on alignments and then download the aligned sequences because that will not work. Instead, on description, click on multiple alignments. This will take you to the Cobalt website, uh, which is an alignment tool, constrained by multiple alignment tool. That's great. And it already produced an alignment that I can download as a faster alignment. Save it to file. This will be saved in my downloads folder. And here we can see it. So if we compare those sequences, uh, at the top I'll put the R sequence, or at the left I'll put the R sequence, at the right the NCBI alignment, you see that there are some differences, the number of proteins is different, uh, the alignment looks different, but yeah, well, that's to be expected from uh, different proteins. Right, so um, this is how to do it quick, I'll now go into a bit more detail at what I did. Alright, so to go a bit of more detail into the code. So here I set the protein name, I put it in the log, that's great. And with Entree Search, you look for the ID of the protein in, um, in the NCBI database. So I got two hits, and from those hits you can get the IDs by using the IDs. And then you, I took the first one, which I also did in the web interface version. So uh, these are then the hits on screen uh, for in your log file. And with Entree Fetch, you get the sequences. 
So this is how the sequence looks like. And you already see here that there are some new lines in it. So it's one element, it's only it's one character string, one character vector, a character vector of length one, um, but it has new lines in it. So that's not what we want in this case. So what I did here, I split it again um, on the new line, and then we get a faster text which now has 11 elements. So this is the first element which describes um, the sequence. And then we have the actual sequence with some empty lines at the back. And then I, I again collapse these, uh, these texts by saying, all right, I, of the faster text, I, I want all lines except the first one. That's what minus one means. And just to concatenate them like collapse all the elements into one big element so we can get the sequence into one big element which I got here. From that moment on I have a sequence I'm going to blast on the protein database my sequence and I get my similar uh, sequences IDs. So this is uh, also more this is an S4 class so it's a bit more uh, it's a bit different to work with them. Some people are used to, uh, but there's a hit table, and that's actually the table of the hits. Um, one of them is uh, the ID, the subject ID, and those are the IDs that we needed. So these are the IDs of the related protein, and including the protein itself. Well, I'm going to store those sequence IDs. Uh, actually should be protein ideas uh, in a variable I'm going to get the sequences of those related proteins um, here I'm going to save it and then I'm going to read it using the bio strings um, using bio strings because I need this for the MSA package which is also on bioconductor as is bio strings uh, so we get some sequences um, I can show them. This is how it looks like because it's an AA string set because I used bio strings and so it will produce an AA string set. I feed that to MSA. Um, you do need to load the library MSA else you get um, this error. So I already did that apparently but um, if you don't you get this error which is a bit well perhaps unexpected. Um, this produces a multiple sequence alignment, so this is how it looks in text. And you see that def it's definitely alignment because, well, there's some gaps here. And then we convert that multiple sequence alignment to another format and then save it to an alignment file. Alright, so you noticed already that the sequences are different and there's a different number of sequences. Um, yeah, well, the question is does that matter for you? If yes, well, then you'll have something to find out. Um, if not, well, uh, like me, then uh, well, it's fine. I hope this was a helpful video and I wish you a very good day. Bye.